We are currently in the foster closet. So what this is, is this is the pantry kind of where we keep all of our foster supplies. Um, so like I said, we try our best to supply everything for fosters so that that doesn't need to be an added barrier for our foster families to help out with caring for these mm -hmm. little guys. Um, and believe it or not, it might look like in here that we have a whole lot of stuff. I would say, if you said <laughs> to me, so how much stuff do you have here? I'd say, well, you're packed. You're looking yeah. good. So believe it or not, just this food. So this is all just kitten supplies. This will maybe last us two weeks. Um, so when fosters come to pick up their animals, like I can tell you right now, this little box, yeah. kittens go through about a can to two cans every day. So this will really only last maybe a week. And it really depends on the kitten. Sometimes if they're a little bit underweight, maybe we feed them a little bit more, yeah. maybe more frequently. Um, if we've got a whole litter of kittens, they will demolish this in like two days. So really, yeah, so they they eat a lot and that's great because it makes them really big, really strong, really healthy and everything. Um, but we are constantly in need of supplies to keep all of these guys happy, healthy and full yeah. and growing strong. And then if you look over here, our puppy shelf is looking a little bit uh -oh, sad. There's no is. dry food. Um, we've got some puppy food up there and believe it or not we're actually getting in three litters of puppies today and then tomorrow we have the privilege of helping out one of our local county shelters with a mom and her one week old um, seven puppies so we need food to keep them you know healthy happy and full um, and you never know that's the thing no like for the mom and puppies coming uh tomorrow actually it's a funny story i reached out to our animal care court um director who also does like our placement and intake and i said oh my gosh you know these people reached out this was just this morning uh they really need help and she was like oh yeah i already messaged them yesterday they're coming in you know tomorrow but to give you an idea so we get two days notice that we can help these guys yeah. and this county shelter they really really need our help um, a mom and her puppies have no business being in a kennel you know they go straight into foster when they're here but yeah it really helps when we have supplies that we can send home with them to support that foster and support the mom wow it's a lot it's a really big job yeah yeah so it, I get the, the best way someone can do either either go out and when you see this stuff on sale or when you're out shopping absolutely get some extra yeah if you're buying for yourself double it and drop it by here that would be awesome the other alternative too is we do kind of like a wish list Wednesday um, so you'll see on our social media we sometimes post that yeah. um, but also if you go to our website fredspca.org slash donate you can find our Amazon wish list and you can actually just ship it directly to our building how so easy is that it's so easy so please 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 if you're able to spare even just five dollars for a couple of cans I mean you have no idea how long that or you know how far that takes us so and you know the other thing too that we that I didn't mention is we also take towels we take bedding we take cat litter uh, poop bags all of that stuff uh, not only helps the animals in foster but also here in the building here we have about 45 dogs currently in this facility alone so not even just in foster care but in this building um, and so we always need you know dog food wet food bowls whatever whatever you can spare we will take with open arms because you're, you're I mean, you're active all the time here. You're dealing with Always. stuff all the time. Constantly. And I remember a few years ago, my wife brought <laughs> some towels over and I had not, and I was like, why, why are you doing that? Yep. And you, I remember you afterwards telling me, oh, we love stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. When I, I fostered a mom and puppies a year ago, she had nine puppies. And I'll tell you what, I had to change the bedding twice a day. So those towels that everybody donates, the sheets that people donate, yeah. I mean, I was going through that every 24 hours. And so, kind, you know, that that's how you guys can see your donations being used. Even if it's, you know, used stuff that you don't need anymore, we will use, we will put to great use and it'll help all of these wonderful lives that come through our door. So fredspca.org. Yep, slash donate. If you if you want to look at the Amazon wish list and kind of see our yeah. donate list, otherwise just go to our website if you're interested in volunteering, fostering, humane education, whatever it is, we can find something for you to get involved in a way that you're able to and and we'll love it.